So, things change, seasons change, people change. One of my favorite quotes goes something like this, no one man steps in the same river twice, for it is not the same river and he is not the same man. Wanted to take a second just to share with you guys today uh, a thought that I had um, looking back over specifically the last year and some, some opinions of mine that have changed. I, I would say some opinions of mine that have evolved uh, in three areas. Area number one, the type of bike that's right for me, uh, or I guess moreover, the type of bike I'd never ride. Pin has changed there. Um, number two, in the area of some upgrades, namely <laughs> ape hangers and big wheels. Um, and then the third area that I have experienced some change of opinion would be in the area of service plans uh, with a dealership. So looking at the first um, idea, the area that I've experienced some change of heart, some change of opinion over the last year is that, you know, uh, I started riding on a Dyna Fat Bob and man, I just, I pretty vividly remember here recently thinking I would never be one uh, to move up to, there's no need to move up to a touring bike, uh, street glides, road glides, road kings. Um, I don't know, I just kind of always uh, held to that uh, belief that a lot of guys have that, you know, the, the touring bikes, you know, that's for when, you know, when I slow down, when I get older, um, you know, those bikes aren't for me. Uh, uh, I haven't given up the ghost. Uh, I'm not ready for a geezer glide or whatever it is yet. Um, that specific opinion was changed pretty drastically in 2017. So last year when Harley Davidson rolled out the Road King special, like I just, as soon as I saw that bike, identified with it. Um, you know, I did go on long hauls with my Dyna, with my Fat Bob. And in order to do that, I had, you know, uh, purchased the detachable backrest and sissy bar with the luggage rack and then uh, detachable um, saddlebags and done all these things to my, and I, I really appreciated the diversity of that setup and that bike, but I had to do all these things to invest in my bike to, to make it a long distance hauler. Uh, when I saw the um, Road King Special, I thought, man, like, there's the bike I've been looking for, and it's all in one. So, really drastically um, changed uh, my opinion on, uh, you know, which bike would be right for me and whether or not I'd ever get a touring bike. I have one. It's awesome. The second thing, um, those upgrades, so specifically looking at ape hangers and big wheel kits. So in the past, you know, I've seen, uh, I've seen videos and I've seen, you know, posts on Instagram, uh, you know, Twitter posts um, with these like just baller blinged out bikes. And I've always kind of thought like, wow, that's way over the top. You know, I could appreciate it, but certainly nothing uh, that I would do to one of my own bikes. <laughs> there again, <laughs> um, that moment when I uh, saw the bike that I now own, um, on the uh, on the, the floor at the dealership with the 14 inch apes and with the 23 inch big wheel in front and I'll, here I'll, I'll cut to a picture of what I'm talking about. I actually had this experience of okay well I'll check that bike out and I had the sales guy um, grab one of the stock bikes too um, figuring that I'd ride out one direction on the bike with the ape hangers and that of course you know I wouldn't like it. I just needed to confirm uh, of course I wouldn't like it, I'd have him trade, and then I'd ride the stock bike back, figuring that the whole test ride experience would really just solidify my decision to, to buy the stock bike when like the exact opposite happened. Uh, bike that I now own, I got on it, I didn't get off of it. We got to the turnaround point and the sales guy was like, hey man, you ready to trade? Like, nope. <laughs> and uh, so yeah. And then the third bit uh, about um, service plans, specifically service plans with a dealership. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've done some, um, some DIY videos. Uh, there's a oil change video, Fat Bob oil change video is one of the first videos that I did here. And um, you know, I, I'm still an advocate of knowing, you know, what's going on with your bike for sure. I still thoroughly enjoy 
wrenching on my bike and you know doing upgrades and uh, you know getting into maintenance and, and knowing more about the machine I mean I just think that there's something to that beyond savings I mean, savings is certainly part of it um, you know if you have the time and the willingness to, to, to dig in you, know, you can save some money in doing work on your bike on, on your own. You know, I think I'd go so far as to say uh, about a year ago, you know, in conversation with the guys that I ride with, I would just openly say like, hey man, I would never do that. I would never pay for, you know, my 5,000 mile service, my 10,000 mile service, um, certainly not a service plan at a dealership. So my opinion has changed pretty dramatic on that. And specifically, I, in my lap, when I purchased my bike, I went all in with the extended warranty, with the service plan, and I feel really good about it. So I want to kind of contrast these two experiences that I had. When I bought my last bike, so not the Road King Special that I have now, but for a season, for a while there, a little bit over a year ago, I had a V-Rod. And that purchase experience looked something like this. I didn't really know the dealership very well yet. You know, I have some really good friends there now, uh, but I didn't know the dealership very well. And so I went in and I was like, I'm, you know what, I'm going to get this bike for like, you know, a crazy low price. I'm gonna beat him up about it. You know, Dave Ramsey would be proud. Like I walked in there with like the envelope full of cash and like, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way and I had all these different, uh, you know, dealers that I was in touch with at the same time. And anyway, I, I did get a great deal on the bike. I laid my cash down, brand new V-Rod, felt like I had accomplished something. Okay, awesome. Didn't purchase any type of uh, service uh, program, any type of extended warranties or anything like that. Within about 48 hours of getting my $15,000 bike home, um, I realized there were some things that I wanted to do. So within, you know, a very short period of time, I purchased the, you know, the garage door opener unit because I love being able to roll up to the uh, garage and click on the lights and open the door. Um, I purchased the security system upgrade because, you know, it's a really sweet bike and I want to make sure to take care of it. So here I am, spent more money on a motorcycle than I'd ever had before. And still I'm finding myself like, man, I'm trying, you know, I'm needing to spend money here. And then quickly, like within the first maybe a little over a week, I hit my thousand mile mark. And so now I'm thinking, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna have this bike forever. And I know that when I go to resell, there's something to be uh, said for having your maintenance record. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the big ticket services done. The thousand mile service, be it an easy service. It's kind of one of those services where, you know, uh, a newbie buyer or someone on, on the third party market wants to know that it's been done and, and really wants to have the documentation from the dealer. So I bought my bike, I'm throwing cash at the upgrades, and then I went, you know, I'll just, I get the thousand mile service done. I went in and I was pretty shocked at how much it cost. I was pretty shocked at how, how long it took. I mean, I, it, for those services, it takes me like a day, maybe two days. Like I'll split it up. I'll go start going down the list, taking my time doing it. You know, I'm in the garage a little bit. I come in, you know, I'm, uh, I'm hanging out with the family. I'm taking care of business. I figured that, you know, taking it to the dealership, having them knock it out. And they did knock it out. I mean, it was a couple of hours maybe to get it done. But um, I think it was like, I can't even remember. The, it's, a, it's been a little while now, but I think it was almost like $400, right, to get this service done. So I remember walking away from that being like, dude, I paid so much. I'm still paying. These services are expensive. Um, it just was not an awesome experience. So flash forward to now. Um, and like I said, my opinion has changed. I went ahead and purchased a service plan. And there's a couple of reasons behind that. One, you know, I'd mentioned that when I bought my last motorcycle, I, I didn't really have very good relationships with the dealership. Uh, over time, that's changed. Like I've got a really good relationship with the guys at Central Texas Harley Davidson. Um, you know, I, I know them. Uh, I know them by name. They know me. Um, I ride with a lot of them. Um, you know, Tyler, uh, the owner. Like that's he's a great guy, man. Like I, I've had a lot of interactions with him through my experiences with the Harley Owners Group. Um, Doug, the guy that helped me on in finance. Um, Rick, um, holding down the sales floor. Yeah, my sales guy, Gunny, like, I, I know these guys, right? So I'm more comfortable. Uh, there's a higher level of trust. And this is, might sound kind of weird, but I really appreciate and care about them. And I want that dealership to do well because it's, it's my dealership, right? So as my relationship with the dealership has evolved, my trust, um, you know, they've earned my trust. So I, I trust them now uh, with my bike and 
uh, in business dealings and, and like I said I want them to do well so you know purchasing a service which actually it's a it's a deal you do get a bargain by purchasing up front all these services it's helping them out and they certainly have hooked me up with opportunities and with Benny's and they're always running cool discounts at that at, at that location and anyway my last experience with the, my thousand mile service which was just yesterday was very very different you know I, I've I've purchased the program I'm gonna be getting my bike serviced there probably still do my own, own oil changes just to kind of um, make sure that my uh, service that I purchased lasts um, and get the, the most bang for my buck there uh, but this time I just approached it differently like I brought my bike in I knew I wasn't gonna have to throw down any cash because I purchased the service program um, so it's one and done like all my services are paid for I brought my laptop and instead of spending a couple of days in the garage sweating it out trying to figure it out hoping I don't mess something up <laughs> Um, I took my laptop, I sat in the, uh, in the customer's lounge, and I got to work. So while my bike was getting worked on, I was in the customer's lounge, following up with clients, doing some prospecting, developing some marketing campaigns to get my listings, my, my homes that are for sale for my listing clients, getting my listings sold, serving my clients well, earning money while the dealership was taking care of my bike. And it was a really, really productive three hours. It was how long it took. Um, it was funny, the guys uh, that brought me in, they're like, dude, are you sure you wanna sit around that long? I'm like, hey man, I got work to do, we're good. And sure enough, like I was kinda wrapping things up, you know, batteries getting low on the laptop, about ready to start kinda walking around, checking some things out of the dealership, and they were done. I come out, and my bike was like sparkling clean, and ready to roll off the lot. And I felt really, really good in that moment about, um, my service program so um, to that end those three things that I talked about specifically um, going from a, uh, a place where I was hardcore Dyna I'd never ride a touring bike um, where I had questions about about uh, the upgrades the uh, ape hangers and the big wheel kit and then the third uh, issue of, of this service deal, those are also gonna be the, uh, the subjects of my next three videos that I have coming up. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just specifically talking about um, the setup that I've got going on with uh, the Road King Special and some tours, uh, some long distance uh, rides that we have. Uh, my wife and I have planned, my friends and I have planned coming up. I'm gonna do a video on that, I'm gonna do a video on um, just diving deeper specifically into those two um, upgrades that I was talking about, the ape hangers, so talking about Factory 47, talking about the bars that are on the bike. Um, I'm going to spend some time uh, looking really closely at uh, the performance uh, machine uh, wheels that are on the bike and talking a little bit about the company and, uh, and, and that specific design, the Platinum Formula from Performance Machine. And then, uh, so I just got my 1,000 mile service done. I know that my 5,000 mile service will be right around the corner. Uh, so it's probably neighborhood of end of next month uh, or so after. So neighborhood of March, April. Uh, I'm actually planning to go ahead and take my camera in for my 5,000 mile service. Uh, I'm gonna do a little collab with my dealership and introduce you guys uh, to them and uh, get a little behind the scenes action and just kind of show you guys what that's all about. So stay tuned. Um, I hope you're having an all today's Valentine's Day. So I hope you've got plans. I certainly do. I got to get to them. So you guys enjoy, um, like the video, subscribe, uh, spread the word, and we'll be in touch.